Now that people was started with a piece of fat wood. But hello and welcome to an episode from Ginger Gone Walkabout. I'm Kai and right now I'm being smoked out. But thank you for clicking on. I hope you enjoy the episode. Let's see what we get up to as we're out on just an overnight wild camp. Stick around. Basically people, that's my setup for tonight. It's like a modified limpet shelter to a degree. It's got me plenty enough room in there for what I need it for basically. And not much else. But that's what we need in the weather like this. It's windy as hell and it's meant to rain like fuck during the night. So basically that's what you want, it's low profile. If I ba try and balance my torch so you can see. I'll show you how high it comes up on me at the highest point. So about waist height for me. So I don't need to be any higher. I'm not using it to trap any heat. It's just mainly, basically, just to keep the fucking elements off me and keep me nice and dry and toasty, shall we say. But... Yeah, I'll give you more info on my kit tomorrow, I suppose. We got bacon on the Y sticks and Danny's Frankfurt sausage looking thing in my barber. You know, you know, hardcore motherfuckers till we die. But I thought, instead of doing a normal bacon stick, I thought I'd do something else for a change. So I did that. bacon on a stick well so basically you just make a split in the middle of the branch after put I put a pencil head on and then split it down the middle stake on this side and then just to keep them apart just put a toggle in the middle that's all that is it's just literally a toggled bit of wood it just spreads them apart but let's try this bacon shit people that's some good ass shit I'm just caveman and rip it off mm. bacon that's why I couldn't be a Muslim I just couldn't be a Muslim life without bacon how boring must it be it's like being a vegan I suppose I could be a fucking drain on life and take all the good things out of it. Right everyone, tonight is Friday night and it is five minutes past ten. Now, me and Wildy, Wild is over there in his own shelter thing, under his British Army Basher, I'm under a three by three. We're both basically just chilling out and getting ready for the night fire literally like there in front of me it's more like a big stack of embers with wood on it at the moment hoping it'll kick into fire in a minute if not never mind but yeah it's pretty chilly and windy outside the shelter but as soon as you come inside the shelter coats off like nice and cotch boots are off I'm just sat on top of my sleeping bag having a Magic fag and I got a uh, coffee and the good old Crusader mug. But yeah, pretty nice at the moment. Quite happy, quite relaxed, chilling out. The bacon was good. But here, are people, I shall probably see everyone in the morning. Night. Have a good one. Morning, people. Time is quarter past eight. <coughs> I've been up probably a good old 20 minutes, if that. I bought myself a fag. We're off to the cycle. I've been trying to see the stove. 
stayed nice, toasty and warm. Probably a bit too warm last night. I, I slept inside my bivvy, but my sleeping bag was undi undone inside my bivvy. It was fucking too warm in there at one point. But, yeah. The sleeping bag, uh, the bivvy bag I was using last night was the Highlander Hawk. Fucking awesome. It's got like a bug mesh that you zip in around your face. And then it's also got like a waterproof thing. You can take the bug mesh off and put the waterproof thing in. So it can act as a standalone shelter as well. I don't think I'd want to use it as a standalone shelter, but I imagine if this one pushed up to shove, I probably wouldn't have a problem with jumping myself in there. But, yeah, it's raining. The weather is naff out there. Johnny got the fire relit. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, it was actually really fucking cool out there. Nice, low shelter. Not very much wind that comes into her. Well, hardly any. I've got a tiny little gap at the back. You can kind of see from me right away. Yeah, you can kind of see the little gap. Just to allow a little bit of airflow last night. Nothing major. But your people. I shall see you all in a minute. Alright, everyone. That's it for me, basically, this trip. Went about a very long trip or anything, like, wasn't very much filming done, and there wasn't really much done to be fair either. Um, basically, what I recorded is what happened apart from us obviously smoking away. But yeah, people, until next time, I love you and leave you. I hope you're having a good one, and sayonara.